Welcome to 1000 PS TV. With the new C4, BMW wants to do nothing less than usher in the electric. And above all, quiet, revolution. Did it succeed? We were able to convince ourselves during the test in Barcelona. The MW Motorrad and Electric Mobility. While their colleagues from the car sector already have several models on the go, the C4 is currently the only model that does without fossil fuels while riding. This is set to change in the future, as this model already incorporates a lot of technology and experience gained in the passenger car sector. This cooperation not only benefits development, the customer also receives tried and tested technology and parts that are already on the shelf so to speak. But in fact this is not the first attempt to build an attractive e-scooter. Back in 2014, the C Evolution came onto the market, which was still designed close to the combustion engine model C650, a characteristic that is now changing with the C4. The new city scooter was developed purely as an electric vehicle and is therefore based on its own platform. This is characterized by a new tubular steel frame in which the 8.9 kW per hour battery is housed. In order for such a large battery to find enough space and still be installed deep in the vehicle floor, the wheelbase had to be adapted accordingly. The wheelbase is an impressive 1675mm, quite a proud figure even for a maxi scooter. Comparable combustion engines often have a wheelbase of around 1580mm, but this is one of the reasons for the C4's futuristic appearance. Very minimalist, with a flat seat and many plain surfaces. The BMW scooter presents itself as a ride that Judge Dredd could be on. The disc wheels round off the look. Definitely an eye catcher, as we could tell from the many curious glances on our test ride through Barcelona. Not surprisingly, the new C4 is powered by an electric motor. This is water cooled and produces 20 horsepower nominal power and a maximum power of 42 horsepower. Torque is naturally available from the first second and reaches a maximum of 62 newton meters. An A1 compatible version is also available on request which is throttled down to 15 horsepower. Unlike many compact electric scooters, the motor is not located at the wheel hub. The MW has mounted it between the battery and the rear wheel. Power transmission therefore requires a single stage primary gearbox and a belt so that the power reaches the rear wheel. To ensure that the 231 kg e-scooter can be parked with ease, the Bavarians fortunately pack a reverse gear into the C4 from factory. When talking about the C4, the argument of the low center of gravity will often come up. In fact, the weight figures are deceptive in everyday use. The low mounted battery makes it easy to lift from the side stand, and maneuvering is easy thanks to the low and very narrow seat. If you order a standard BMW C4, you already get a respectable set of features. 10.25 TFT color display including connectivity, three driving modes eco, rain and road, as well as a BS and traction controls. Those who are looking for more than just visual or practical upgrades in the form of sticker sets or luggage systems will also find what they are looking for. A BS and traction control depending on slanting position can be ordered as well as heated grips, headlight pro cornering lights or the fourth dynamic riding mode. Our test vehicles were fully equipped, so we were pleased to have heated grips in the fourth driving mode. In the city, however, you don't need more than eco mode. This reduces the power diffuses the throttle response and offers full recuperation. The fascination here really lies in one's own driving behavior, which adapts to such an electric scooter. Thus, the brake levers become obsolete, because the recuperation takes over the complete deceleration. At the start of the traffic light, however, it could happen that the recuperated energy is immediately gone. The sprint from 0 to 50 km per hour, which takes 2.6 seconds at full power, fills every speed freak with joy and puts a childish smile under the helmet. On the chassis side, fortunately, sensible components were also installed. The 35mm telescopic fork and the side-mounted shock absorber in the rear cope were with potholes and manhole covers. The long wheelbase provides additional stability, but takes a while to get used to in tight corners. But nothing that actually slows down in tight city traffic with a certain amount of experience. If you leave the narrow lanes of the big city and drive on the city motorways, which are characterized by equally dense traffic, 
you will be happy to switch to road mode. Here, full power is available, making quick overtaking maneuvers child's play. At a speed of 80 km per hour, you benefit from the C-Force dimensions, which are noticeable in its stable straight line stability and high driving comfort. Only the wind protection at the chest and head leaves something to be desired with the low standard wind shield. A raised version is available as an accessory. You will also miss cruise control, which is unfortunately not even offered in the BMW original accessories. Can 231 kg an electric drive be reconciled with cornering fun? Well, of course you won't be on the same level as, say, an S1000R, but the BMW C4 proved to be a fun fellow in dynamic mode with maximum power and full recuperation. Thanks to the 15 inches tires front and rear, it tilts willingly into the radius. The low center of gravity combined with the long wheelbase ensure a planted feel and stability in the curves. At a sporty pace, it is also pleasing that the running boards are pulled far back, so that a sporty knee angle is also possible. Of course, due to the design of a scooter, you can't really form a knee joint. But when your feet are behind, everything feels much sportier right away. The topic of electric mobility is often associated with the well-known fear of range. But what about the new C4? The MW promises a range of around 130 kilometers, a value that should be enough for the average commuter per day. Our test drive took us through Barcelona's city center, as well as along the surrounding urban motorways and a short hill section. It actually makes sense to use the four different driving modes. In the city, the power of the eco mode is perfectly sufficient to make the fastest starts at traffic lights, while the strong recuperation not only makes the brake levers obsolete, it also provides enough power back into the battery. On the city motorway, the road mode scores with full power and medium strong recuperation, while in hilly country you don't want to miss the full power as well as the strong engine brake of the dynamic mode. So how did it go in terms of consumption? It is worth mentioning that during our test drive, Battery draining motorway stages at the top speed of 120 km per hour were absent. We spared the battery, so to speak. That's why we were even able to undercut BMW's specification of 7.7 kW per hour and ended up with 6.9 per hour. What does that mean in everyday use? If you use the C4 as a pure city commuter, you will have no trouble reaching the 130 km promised by BMW. Of course, outside temperature and load are important factors here which we cannot take into account when driving alone and the outside temperature is around 10 to 15 degrees. Nevertheless, not bad BMW. Nowadays, electric mobility goes hand in hand with perfect connectivity. This is also the case with the C4, with the BMW Motorrad app. Any data about the ride can be displayed quickly and easily on the smartphone at any time. Route planning can also be carried out and transferred to the integrated navigation. It only gets a little complicated if you want to drive longer than the charge level allows. If this is planned, the navigation does not warn you that the remaining range is not sufficient. Instead, you have to manually search for a charging station on the route. The MW explains that the C4 is designed as a short haul vehicle and that this case would probably rarely occur. But in the end, this perhaps saving warning is a simple software issue. Example. If my planned destination is 180 km away, I would have to stop once to refill the battery. A charging station already suggested on my route would simply make life easier. So now we have reached the end of the day. Work and shopping has been done and maybe a short tour with one or two curvy roads was also possible. But now the charge level is approaching 0% and the BMW C4 needs to be connected to the power supply. To do this, you open a flap in the knee area to reveal the Type 2 plug. This can change for every market. Now you have three options for charging, a household socket, a private wallbox or a public charging station. The C4 charges with a power of 2.3 kWx works, but if you opt for the optional fast charger, this value increases to 6.9 kW three times as much. Those who have concerns about the longevity of the battery can be disarmed. BMW Motorrad gives a warranty of several years on the battery and should the worst happen, the unit could be removed through the floor of the vehicle. But according to BMW technicians, this has never been the case with the predecessor C Evolution, so it shouldn't be relevant with the C4 either. With the new C4, the BMW designers wanted to create an unusual ride that leaves the norm of the classic Maxi scooter. Successful, but nevertheless scooters are considered practical and should therefore also have a certain utility in this design language. That is why there is actually a storage compartment on the right hand side between the seat and the battery, which offers enough space for a full face helmet and charging cable. In addition, a smartphone can be charged via USB-C connection in the compact glove compartment. If desired, a top case and side bags can be ordered to give the futuristic scooter even more storage volume. In summary, the new BMW C4 does not qualify as the most practical Maxi scooter, but it is one of the most eye-catching. 
After all, it is designed as a short distance vehicle, which is why we let the narrow seat go. You probably couldn't spend more than 200 kilometers on it at a stretch, but you don't have to because the range limits the project anyway. On short journeys, however, it is comfortable because ultimately the narrow cut also ensures that you always have a firm footing on the ground. For even more individualization, BMW offers six different seats in their original accessories, one of them with heated seats. The Quiet Revolution, a bold goal by the Bavarians, of which the C4 is a convincing start. Driving performance and range are more than adequate for everyday commuting and meet the premium demands placed on a ride manufactured in Berlin. Due to its extravagant appearance and drive concept, the C4 will definitely not be the choice of every scooter rider, but those who like to show off and ride silently with tremendous torque should definitely test drive the new BMW C4.